How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to be upgrading the solid state drive on this Dell XPS 13 9300. It came with 512 gigabytes of solid state storage and we're going to upgrade it to one terabyte. Unfortunately the RAM is not upgradable on this machine so we're just going to be doing the storage. We do have an index in the video description to help navigate the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. You're going to need a Torx T5 bit. I put a link to this in the description of the video. You could also get one at Walmart. And then you're gonna to need to remove the eight screws on the bottom of the case by twisting counterclockwise. And for reference, all of the screws are the same size, so you can't get them mixed up when reinstalling. Then you're gonna take a plastic guitar pick or a spudger, get it in between the bottom case and then the plastic upper and you're going to run it along the side. You'll hear some clicking, run it along the palm rest, and once you can get a finger underneath, you should be able to lift off the bottom case. We're gonna move the battery connector. There is a tab pull that you can grab, and you're gonna pull it towards you this way. That'll remove the power from the motherboard. In order to get out our hard drive, we need to take a Phillips head electronic screwdriver and take out this screw right here. Then you can lift off this antenna from this little copper cable routing, and then you can pull this copper and rotate it off to the side. Then you're going to have to take a small piece of plastic and pry up just a little bit on the edge, and that's going to allow you to get under and then pull out that way to get your old hard drive out. A little bit of a thermal pad on the bottom to help dissipate heat. And you're going to grab your new hard drive. This is a WD Blue one terabyte. These are really good value for what you get, for what you pay. I will put a link to this in the description to the one terabyte or the two terabyte. You're gonna grab your hard drive, the flat part on the bottom, you're going to slide it in like that. Then you're going to press it down, make sure you routed that cable out of the way. You're going to grab that piece of copper cover, bring it back over. And it's quite possible when you're sliding it over, when, it, when you're moving it gently, that you might dislodge it. It actually comes off from this little hinge, so do be aware of that. If it comes off, you just slide this back on. There is a notch on this little rivet right here. And then you're going to wanna to make sure when you swing it back over that you get it underneath this antenna routing and press down on that, get that nice and seated. And then you're going to take your Phillips head screw that you removed. And then you're gonna grab that battery connector. It does line up, there's a channel onto the connector on the board. And you're gonna grab that tape and pull it in that direction reinserting your battery. Then you're gonna grab your bottom case. You can clean it off if it has a lot of dust on it, especially from these air vents. When you put your bottom case back on, make sure to do the vent side first. You're gonna to wanna to line that up to make sure that you get this USB-C and the headphone port nice and lined up. And then you're gonna press down, clicking it, locking it in to the top case. Grab your eight screws, reinstall them, and you are good to go. Now that you have a new hard drive installed in your laptop, you need to load Windows on it. And the way you do that is with a Windows 10 installer USB. I will have a link how to make one of these and use it in the description. I'm not gonna show you all of that in this video because it's kind of a lengthy process. Then you're gonna have to plug it into a dongle thing so you can get it on USB-C. Plug the USB-C into the computer. If your USB is already USB-C, you can just plug that directly into your computer. Now we're going to power the computer on and we're going to hit F12. While the splash screen is up, it should open your Dell boot menu. Preparing the one-time boot menu. Then from here, you're going to navigate down to your USB drive. It should be listed over here and then you're going to hit enter. That's going to boot from the USB to the Windows 10 installer. It takes a little bit to load the installer from the USB onto the computer, but once this pops up, you can run through it to install Windows on your new hard drive. I will put a link in the description to a video showing how to do this. Thank you guys so much for following along on the project. If you have any questions about it, throw them in the comments section. If you have any questions about another project or something you wanna see a tutorial on, let me know about it down there as well. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, 
consider subscribing and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.